Let's go ahead and start with the first one, which is the player character. So if you go to prefabs over here, one of the things you'll probably notice is that there is a players folder, and inside of there, there's a player object. Now, if we were to drag the player into the scene, if you notice that there's nothing in the scene to really snap to, so he's just kind of out there in the middle. However, if we drag him into our hierarchy over here and drop him in, he's going to come in at the, the position that the prefab was made at. So for instance, the prefab is set for 0, 2, 4, negative 5, uh, which means the player, if you drag him and drop him into the hierarchy, will come in this way. If I drag and drop him in here, he'll be wherever I place him. All right, so what we want to do is drag and drop the player over into our hierarchy and be sure it's placed right there inside the scene. Double click on the uh, hierarchy player. It's going to zoom your scene view into that selected object right there. Now, what we can do, remember to rotate around, you can hold the uh, Alt key and then just left click and drag with your mouse around and you can actually rotate around the selected focus shape right there. So we have our player character, the little chicken guy. Now what we want to do is actually, we can take a look at the constructed one, but also we want to make sure that we're kind of walking through the steps so you feel comfortable with all the, the, the whole process that you could redo it as well. So I'm going to take this one and just kind of set it off to the side here for a second. All right. Inside of player, you'll notice that the player, we're going to have one game object right here on top. And what it's going to do is actually be the holder. So it's going to hold the actual chicken model file. So the chicken is going to be the object inside of here. And as well as we have a little particle uh, that's inside of this as well. And the particle itself is actually just the, uh, here, we'll turn it on so you can see it. It's the little spray so that when he gets hit, um, instead of being feathers, we're just going to have a little burst of uh, yellow pieces coming out for it. All right, now this is the finished file for the, the character, uh, empty in terms of scripts and things like that and animations, but it's the finished one so that if you want to use this one, you can. If you want to follow along for the next couple of minutes, we're going to rebuild this character so you feel comfortable with rebuilding it, setting objects up, making new objects and things like that. All right, so if this is your first time doing it and you want to spend, you want to get comfortable with it, you can go over to objects. So in our prefabs, inside of objects, uh, let's see if we have it in here. There's one called chick right there. So we can just left click and drag chick inside the scene. So chick is currently in the scene at zero zero zero, and the rotation is. Uh, a little off, so we'll do negative 90 just to make sure he's squared up on it. Alright, so if we have chick inside of here, we can just double check. So what we have inside of here, looks like that one's off a little bit too. We'll make that negative 90. Um, what we have in, on the, the chick is the object by itself. So let's go ahead and add our uh, parent object, which will be the one that moves us around. The uh, chicken inside of here will be the one that holds the animation. That way you can animate and still move the object separate of it. So for this one, I'm just going to double click on chick, which is going to recenter our focus, which also means when I create a new object, it'll create one at that last focus point. So we can right click inside of here or go up to create and just do create. And we'll do a, uh, we'll actually just start with an empty one. So we'll say create empty. And let's just call this player. All right. And then go ahead and uh, make sure that your position, in, in case it didn't come out 0, 0, 0, be sure your position is set for 0, 0, 0. And be sure your player is position 0, 0, 0. If it is, just left click and drag chick onto player. So now it's parented. Ah, and that's where it gets off right there. So negative 90. Make sure it stays set correctly. All right. That's Partly Unity's interesting elements on rotation. <laughs> um, so we have our we have our chicken inside of here. We have our player. Notice that player the couple of things for player is a box collider and a rigid body. So let's go ahead and set those two things up. So on player, I'm just going to go to the add component, and on add component, just type in box collider. As you type in box collider, the search will show up for you right there. I'm going to make sure I get the box collider added. And I'm going to go ahead and go back to the add component and do rigid body. 
So we have a rigid body and a box collider. We're going to turn off use gravity on the uh, rigid body. And we're going to make sure that the is kinematic is turned on. And then on the box collider, the one part that you'll notice is the size. So let me zoom out here so you can see it. So when you, with this character, when you put a box collider on it, you see how much larger it is right there? We don't need that large of a box surrounding the player. We just want the box to be about half that size. So we're going to take the box collider under size. We can do a 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and 0.5. So if you notice, if I do half that, then all of a sudden the box goes right around this character. All right, so there we go. That's going to be the basic setup for it. The uh, the player itself, there's a little bit of a height change, and we'll we'll work through the height changes when we start adding in the elements that require us to move things up and down. But for now, we'll leave the player at zero zero zero. And likewise, if you are using this uh, this character. Uh, you can go ahead and set them to a lower number that way you're still kind of working within our our generic system right there all right so that's going to finish off that part the next video we'll walk through is just setting up the particle and we'll add the particle to the player and then we'll make a player prefab that we'll start using